Let's run through a nomenclature exercise real quick. We've been doing this off and on throughout the semester, so I just want to wrap up with this real simple way to do nomenclature. You've seen before the basic alkanes, 1 through 10 carbons, which we've already had here. Um, you've also seen um, the Lewis line structures uh, up from hexane, heptane, octane, nonane, and decane. Uh, I, I don't have this here. I asked you to do this as an assignment a while back. So let's look at uh, nomenclature and let's consider this as an introduction. All right. So when we think about nomenclature of alkanes, we can substitute alkanes with groups on the backbone. Uh, if the groups are halogens, we, we talked about this already. It's an alkyl halide. If the groups are carbons, then the alkane becomes a branched alkane uh, with those carbon alkyl groups being substituent. OK, so uh, here's a here's a quick mnemonic to think about nomenclature all right number one you want to find the longest chain number two you want to ask yourself what's on the chain then you want to alphabetize your substituents and then you number your substituents it's very simple so I, I thought about this in terms of an easy song all right so find the longest chain FLC um, that's flick right like the sound you make or a lighter makes when you light a candle Right, you flick a lighter, the lighter candle. So, FLC lighter candle, WOC. Um, that's like it sounds the same as the Japanese cooking um, a pot, the wok, WOK. But I misspelled it on purpose. What's on the chain, WOC? So, lighter candle, eat some Japanese, ABC. Say your ABCs, and then say your one, two, three. So it's very simple. Uh, but I think it's better if we do this as a real song. So my music career probably won't take off. That's why I st I'll stick to teaching. So let's let's apply this method. So here we have a uh, molecule with um, a six carbon chain. So again, let's look at the different ways we can count to six. All right, we can go here, or we can go here. Right, the red or the yellow, both chains are equivalent, nothing changes. All right, so I light a candle, find the longest chain, which is six carbons. That means my parent is hexane. All right, eat some Japanese. What's on the chain? Walk, right? I have a chlorine on the chain, and then I have a methyl on the chain here. And remember, when uh, that root halogen is chlorine. Any halogen, I change the ending to O. If it's an alkyl group, the root for this is methane, but I change the ending to eel, so it becomes methyl. And then I say my ABCs, which one comes first, chloro or methyl. Chloro comes first. And then I say my one, two, threes, right? So I number, right? I start numbering from this end because it's closest, has the closest substituent. So this is one, two, three, chloro, one, two, methyl, hexane. All right, so I number from this end, and then I have a substituent at two, I have a substituent at three, and then here's the name of the compound, 3-chloro-2-methylhexane. All right, let's look at another example. So I need to find the longest chain. I can start counting from this end or counting from here. I can count from here, right? I can count from here, or I can count here, 
right? And you'll notice the red chain. The red chain has the most carbons in it. And so because of that, I found my longest chain, right? Light a candle, FLC flick, find the longest chain. I've done that. Um, now I need to figure out what's on the chain, right? Eat some Japanese, walk, what's on the chain. So I have an aisle down here and a methyl here and also a methyl here. Now I need to say my ABCs, I, iodine comes before methyl, I comes before M, and then I say my one, two, threes, right? Here, let's see where the numbers are. I have a methyl at a carbon number three, methyl at carbon number six, and then an iodine at carbon number seven. So this becomes seven iodo, three, six, dimethyl. I use a prefix di because if I have two groups that are identical, then I just use a prefix. If I have three groups that are identical, I would use tri, four, tetra, so on and so forth. Dimethyl decane. Okay, so let's look at some more uh, other things to know. I'll call this that. These are some of your more common substituents that you'll see. Uh, these are branched alkyl substituents. Uh, if, if I have a three carbon substituent like this, the parent would be propane if it's attached to the parent chain by the middle carbon we call that an isopropyl group right that's derived from the propyl group uh, a four carbon substituent would be butyl um, if it's attached at the second carbon here we call it a secondary butyl if it's attached at this carbon uh, the first carbon here we call it an isobutyl and then if it's attached uh, the central carbon has three carbons around it if it's attached at that central carbon to the parent chain and we call it tertiary butyl or tert butyl. These are some very important substituents that you'll see. Um, and we'll look at some examples in one second. So let's let's go back here. Butyl, because this, uh, this chain contains one, two, three, four carbons. Secondary butyl, because it's attached to the parent at a secondary site. Right? Isobutyl, butyl again, because it's one, two, three, four carbons. And it's attached at this primary carbon here. And then tertiary butyl, but because this carbon is tertiary, one, two, three carbons attached, and it's attached to the parent chain at that central carbon. All right, so let's look at a couple of examples. The top example, I can uh, find my longest chain first, right? And if we just follow the dots, you'll see that my longest chain is going to be the chain in red. All right. And since that's my longest chain, now FLC, I've done that. Now what WOC, what's on the chain, right? I have a methyl here. I have an isopropyl here. The methyl is at, it's on carbon number three. The isopropyl, one, two, three, four, is at carbon number four. So this becomes four isopropyl, three methyl decane, right? Let's look at this bottom example uh, where we have a tert butyl. And let's count the long, find the longest chain. I'm just using the different colored dots to show where it is. All right, again, the longest chain here is the longest chain here is uh, the 10 carbon chain here. But on the this substituent now is a tert butyl. This is chloro, so this becomes four tert butyl, three chloro decane. Notice the tert butyl comes before chloro because the tert part is not a part of the actual this is only a prefix tertiary butyl all right so the b comes before c so that's how i know when i say my abcs i know for tert butyl the b comes before c all right so the next video is going to be dealing with newman projections and i hope hope this made some sense and if not you can always ask questions